here at Avery Point, the Mesocosm Experiment. I'm going to give you a tour of the anatomy of a mesocosm tank. The first thing that we can see here is the info pipes. This is connect. This is delivers raw water to the system. Each tank has two inflows, which is uh, controlled by a faucet here above the tank. It delivers water down this T into the tank. Also, we have a delivery of air, which is down this second pipe here. And there are two inflows of air to each tank, which bubbles air into the tank. Although the water is well oxygenated, it, we just have redundancy with the bubbler, just in case we do have a problem with uh, water delivery. There still is there still is oxygen getting into the tank. We also have a electricity which power for the for the heater. Not all tanks are heated, and but half the tanks are, and these are very energy consumptive. I think we needed. Uh, 200 watts per per heater. Also, we have a got Cat4 cable, which goes to this control box, which is then connected to a uh, temperature logger, which we have then mounted here on the tank. And this temperature logger is about halfway down in the water column of the tank and records temperature 24-7. Each tank also has a divider which divides uh, invasive and resident species treatments in each tank. And of course there is an outflow for each tank and the water flows out of the tank down the drain tube and the drain tube leaves, uh, reconnects to the Rankin Lab drainage system. So there you have it. This is the anatomy of a tank. And these tanks with capacity are around 800 gallons, although at the bottom of these tanks there is about three inches of, three to four inches of sand, so that could consume some water capacity right there. The anatomy of a Team Benthos Mesocosm tank.